Hi, it's me, Sir Henrik from Henrik Academy. In this video, I will explain regarding how to construct the sample space and find the probability of several events. In this lesson, I will discuss several questions and answer of this topic. Before we begin this lesson, please click like and subscribe. Afterward, take your pen and your notebook and let's study with me. Let's begin with the first slide. In the first slide, we're gonna find we're going to discuss this problem regarding when we toss a coin. Okay, when we toss a coin, list all the possible outcomes in the sample space. B, find the probability it shows heads. And C, find the probability it shows tails. Okay, for questions A, B, and C, firstly, we need to find the list of uh, sample space. All right, when we toss a coin, the possibility, such as this one, between head or tail, the outcomes, when you toss a coin, among of head or tail if, uh, is the outcomes. So it means the list of the possible outcomes in a simple space for answer or option A for uh, the questions A equal um, the sample space equal S, the sample space equal head or tail, yeah, between head or tail. Now B, find the probability it shows heads. If uh, it shows heads, the probability equal, sorry, this one B, uh, for questions B, the probability of heads equal how many heads? One. Uh, it means one of two. Right? So NS equal two. Meanwhile, N, uh, NS, sorry, NS equal NS equal two and and H equal one. So how about N T number of tail one as well. So the probability uh, it shows tails equal C probability tails equal one over two. All right. Uh, how about if two coins, if two coins are tossed, list the possible outcomes in the sample space. If two coins, the sample space, such as this one, okay, uh, this is for first coin and this, this one, this one for uh, second coin. And the outcomes, the sample space, H comma H, H comma T, T comma H, or T comma T. Yeah, so there are four possibility. The sample space, it means uh, one, two, three, four. So it means NS, a number of 
uh, sample space equal four. Now, so how about, uh, yeah, so for A is one, the answer sample space equal H, H, uh, H, T, T, H, T, T, or uh, this one, H, comma, H, H, comma, T, T, comma, H, or T, comma, T. B, question B, find the probability it shows two heads. Uh, we're going to find two heads in this sample space. Which one? This one. Two heads. Only one. So it means uh, N two H or N H H equal one. So probability of H H equal and double H over NS and of sample space equal uh, one over four, one fourth, a quarter. Next problems regarding three coins. When three coins toss, uh, how about the list of the possible outcomes in the sample space? And the prob probability uh, an event when it shows two heads and a tails, three coins. Uh, three coins, such as this one. Uh, uh, I'm gonna use this, uh, yeah, three, uh, for uh, the three method, such as this one, uh, three, uh, three probability. Uh, this is the first coin, uh, the first coin, the first coin is yeah, the first coin between H and T. Second coin, this one. And the third coin. Okay, this rose. Yeah. All right. So the outcomes, the sample space are this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And this one. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So NS equal eight. Right? Yeah. Now we're going to find the probability. So two heads and a tails. Two H and one t this one uh we're gonna use another color okay two h and one t this one and this one this one two h one t okay one two three so n two h comma one t equal three so probability of two h and one t equal three i uh, sorry the formula first n s or sorry n N to H comma T to H comma T over N S. 
equal 3 over 8. Right. So how about if a dice, when, when we turn a dice, uh, the sample space, the sample space, uh, the sample, the list of the sample space, uh, this one. Uh, if a dice, it means a sample space one, the, prob the possibility, uh, um, the poss possibility are one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So uh, six number, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Because uh, six sides of this dice and every side consists of one number. So it means NS, NS equals six. Find the probability it shows up side three, side three, this one. Side three, it means uh, only one, one side is side three. So it means and side three equal one and the probability side three equal n three over n s equal one over six. So one six is the solutions for uh, question B. How about question C? For question C, yeah, and two equal one as well, because it's just one side. Uh, it shows two, so it means probability two. In this event, equal n2 over n s and the uh, solution is one six right that's it that is if uh the, the event when we throw a dice so how about if two dice if we turn to dice, um, the sample space, such as this one, this um, second, uh, the first dice, and this the second dice. Yeah. Uh, same with two dice, uh, turn two times, but this for second dice, uh, the sample space. Uh, how many? One, two, uh, 36. So the sample space consists of 1, 1,2, 1, 1,3, 1, 1, 4, till 6, 6. Right? So total 36. Uh, 36 elements, 36. This, the n space, n space equal 36. So the possibility are 36. All right. Now, how, we're going to find B. We're going to answer B. Find the probability the sum of two dice is nine. So two dice. Uh, the sum of two dice is nine, consists of three comma six, uh, four comma five, five comma four, six comma three, and yeah, one two three four. So it means n nine. Even nine, yeah. If uh, this event 
6 plus 9 equal 4, okay. and 9 equal 4. So it means the probability of 9, the sum of two days equal 9, equal n, 9 over ns. And 9 equal 4, 4 over 36. You could simplify, gonna be 1 over 9. So uh, 1 over 9 uh, is the solutions for questions B. Now we're gonna answer C. C, find the probability if the, if the difference is 1. The difference is 1. I erase first. If the difference is one compressed of 2.2,1, 1,2, this one as well, 6,5 and 5,6. Okay, four. So N1 difference is one equal four. So it means the probability one equal one over 36. Okay, one over nine. So one over nine also is the solutions for question C. How about if the event is we throw a dice and a coin. If we throw a dice and a coin, the sample space, such as this one, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, tail, and one, tail and two, tail and three, tail and four, tail and five, or tail and six. Okay, all of them are 12, right? So an S equal 12. And the least, uh, I'm gonna use another color, okay. The list are H, yeah, H1 or H, comma, one. Uh, you could write down such as this one, or H2 or H, comma, two, H3 or H, comma, three, until this one, T. 6 or t comma 6 right b find the probability the outcomes hat and 5 this means this one okay just one so n h and 5 one so the probability uh h and five equal n h and five over n s equal one boy uh, one over twelve because an S equal 12. Now C, find the probability the outcomes three and tails, three and tails, it's one, only one. So N, mm, three and tails, one. So the probability, probability three and tails, equal n, three n tails, 
over ns equal one over 12. All right, so if you have any questions or maybe you need uh, my next explanations regarding this topic, uh, you could send me a message through this email, henrik.academy21 at gmail.com. Thank you for your watching. See you.